close to that. Steve, uh, what was Alright, we'll get Cone uh, versus Maka. The young pit main I've never I, seen before. I just threw uh, making his debut uh, on the stage versus a uh, uh, top PR inkling main getting top eight. Do you have the beat? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, well, two good players like facing off. Uh, let's see if that's a 28. It did. It did do 28. God dang. Okay, that was again. 16, 16. Thank you. Okay. Good for Yao. Yao's rich. Oh, I just, I just heard, that's, that's your last name, Yao, Yaozi? Uh, yeah. Uh, I figured that out in the chat, wow. Wow. Anyways, okay. Anyway, back to Drac. Uh, okay, Maka actually racking on 76% on pit. Is that like being safe, or at least missing a punish? Okay. Gets out of the situation, off for an inner side beat. Oh, Dash is like picking him up off the dash. It's hard to punish Inkling Dash, I feel like. It is. What's up, Dash? Alright, we'll lay on the X-Smash. Uh, okay, establishes his ink all over the stage. Center stage is dominated by the inkling, but can he get enough charge? Ooh, slightly choking. Yeah, and we, earlier we saw Maka actually like going like hella ham at it. He's racking out an early percentage, but I don't know, just bringing it all the way back. Oh yeah, but that raw bear is almost enough to prevent stage control. Uh, and they're sending him the other direction. Alright, yeah, that's, right, that's, that's the next shot. Okay, we go to the mat. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like the moment you see that roller come out and it gets very yeah, that's a stock. Yeah, that's a, a hard punish. Very hard to match. Very hard. Almost as good as a portal side beam push tool. Yeah. Not quite. Well, I don't think you can match out of the portal side beam. Oh really? I really don't think so. Well, I think push tooling it, you get that. Push tooling it, you get that, but you can, that's not something you can match out of. But right, yeah, you're just trapped. But yeah, I don't know. But actually, see these arrows working their magic. Oh my god, you got like four um, arrows in a row. Someone described it to me as the, the ray gun. You can. Send them off the stage with it. Uh, different than the Jahan Dark Pit. Anyway, good spacing. Uh, take from a jump. Undergone. Yeah. Good force now. I think that's a really good like off stage interaction because it um it makes them impatient to stuck off stage for a really long time. Yeah. You know they're gonna like roll or do something. Yeah. All right, right now. Uh, good condition from both players. And yeah. he goes for the jump above him. But guess they still out of it. Yeah, Maka playing the rush down Inkling and like, like how Inkling is. Rush down character. He's living off those bears that establish so much control behind him. Oh, that's Does he get the Oh my god. That's a star, yeah. Two in a row. Let's see if he can clean out a third one. Or if Onragon come back with some crazy moves. Yeah, but Onragon actually has quite a bit of work of him. Work ahead of him. Good jab. Almost enough to fight the Inkling. And dare to fear. That's a combo. So see if he can get it in. Okay. <laughs> Almost, Almost high enough. enough. If he up the early, maybe got it. Yeah, not enough. Excellent spot dodge by Maka. Beating out the double hit of that. Actually. Thought he would have wanted to roll maybe, but. Alright, I'll throw up there. He's good enough, he gets one. Down to. Is that a multi hit? It's a. Uh, it hits two times. Okay, now we know. So technically. Yeah. It doesn't hit more than once. Oh, but side beat! Killing? The upper dash arm actually killing. That, in the Smash 4, that didn't kill at all. I have no idea. Is that some sort of like type of armor? It has super armor, yes. The uh, pit and dark pit side beats all have uh, super armor. They up that insane amount of damage. Yeah, they really buffed pit in this game. He's going for the harder he is. But he's still on stage. Okay. Oh, that's a roller. Is he going to get the outside? Yeah. yeah. Alright, I don't, I don't yeah. want to see this pit. Um, I want to see some bull or snake. Anybody? Awesome. Good showing. Proving that he does have a pit and it's a real pit. Yeah. I don't know. Aragon did pretty well in neutral, but just couldn't really handle uh, Maka's shield pressure. Yeah. Honestly, uh, really good conditioning from Maka where you can condition him to shield and then miss the timing for the roll. It's hard to react uh, out of the dash. Yeah. You don't know what, which is going to happen. Like, the roller itself actually comes out really quickly, but if you just jump around, like, English doesn't really have too many options, like, in the air that can. Hill until like what, like 190 ish. Exactly. That's the one thing I've learned from <coughs> Sarah's England actually. Because if you stay in shield, you're not gonna have a good time. You have to beat him out with movement and just like baiting in general. Exactly. Yeah, and so we're gonna see Armor going after he switches to the wolf and heading to Smashville. Oh, yeah, one of the best characters for that actually that I've talked about is full hop, Tomahawk, see what we got. Yeah. And good stage pick too, I think. Yeah, like probably using that center platform for stage extension and yeah. good cover. So but it's angling, but also sending him upwards to good combo. Yeah. Doesn't have a jump, but he's gonna be able to make it back. Okay, 
So, uh, funny thing between both these players, both of them think each other's characters are top tier, but then, um, the respective mains of them don't agree. So Matt does not think Inkling is top tier, but he thinks Wolf is, and, uh, Steve does not agree. Oh! Ooh, nice idea. Yeah, I, I could see that, but... I could I see either of them being top upper tier. high. I don't know if they're top three, okay. but they're definitely top five. I'm gonna say that Wolf is definitely, like, a tier? Yes. S tier is still a bit iffy. Inkling, hands down, S tier. Yeah. Hands down. At this point in the meta, <coughs> people can't figure out the, the mashing. Yeah. And the timing it is. Okay, but excellent pickup. Down to like setting at a perfect angle to follow up with a mayor fair. Okay, it doesn't die there. Impressive. I thought the ace was gonna spot him. Alright, back to our answer for some space. Okay, presence. but he waited, but oh my oh, he kept goodness. His jump. Excellent use of the rising shine, I think. Pretty no, good. he what he did, he let go of Shy, so that way he didn't get reflected, so that he got the set the other way. He still had his jump, so he could have made it back from either did side. Did he check it up? Anyway. He didn't have to check, and then he didn't hit the stage at all. Yeah, it was just a perfect reversal, I guess. Alright, back throw. That Another still doesn't gone. kill until like 150 at the ledge. That does 25 damage. Okay. He's staying alive. Goes for the speed snap. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Squad dodge. Taking him out. Right. Excellent throw from Onagon in the second game. Proving his dominance of the character and. Wow, that back throw still pretty good. Okay, that back throw will here. take it though. Good back here. Everyone want to save it? Good job. Yeah, well, Matt has a lot of work ahead of him. Okay, he can get up attack. And the dash attack, I've never seen that angle. It looks like he's gonna... Maybe Roger? Yeah, 28% off that job. So he's getting in, uh, Nickelodeon time on the, the stream right now. See if he can hold the gun, yeah. That, that, that's what I see most goals off for. Covers their jump from ledge and uh, roll. Not sure what else. Yeah, but really good to have someone in place for a while. I'm really liking how Onagon is just stuffing out uh, Maka's approaches with like stuff like F tilt, Blaster, F smash. Just throwing out hitbox is just to tell you he can't get it. And then there to F tilt connecting just in time. I don't know if that's a DI defender thing. Look at this game. Okay, okay, brought, adapting, yeah. shielding, and F smashing. Wow, from across the stage, yeah, are going to take it over with the two stock. Crazy range. Oh, it does have quite a bit of startup, but the, but if you do land it, it, you get really good reward off of it. And plus, it doesn't have that much end lag either, so you could just throw out another move while you're after. Yeah, if you're like Mark. <coughs> Game three between those two was excellent. Alright, who boots on to the bracket? This is a very close set. Pokemon, is it really gonna go to Weedy? Gonna... Oh, I forgot he ended it. I saw Trainer and I was like, Pokemon? I mean, I can see Weedy actually killing, like, probably have a better time Honestly, killing. I, I had a dream the other night, because Matt does have Tweak in his Genesis 6 pool, so what if he pulls up the Weedy? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Against his war? Against the warrior. Rebecca? I think it's ready. Okay, I think the thing, too, um, we were playing the other night, and Matt was kind of running the setup against everyone with Weedy. I don't know if he's be able to beat Steve with it, but oh, no. it looks like Steve's got a handle on the match right now. <coughs> All right. Um, the main thing I see Matt doing with Weefit when I usually play it is um, picking it up with uh, F tilt, I think, because it kills that. Yeah, F tilt like kill that back hit actually always kills the like, back hit on F tilt. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Read on the instant is the win. But uh, Weefit's recovery not something to be. Stop it's actually surprising, that's actually really hard to challenge with the uh, the header like being a pretty good projectile, the soccer ball. And then with sun salutation, install it, and then deep breathing. Exactly. So and many then options just to stay off yeah. the stage, linger and mix up his recovery. Okay, but that's not covering the role in that. Yeah, I'm not too sure about like match the uh, match the switch. Yeah, he definitely um, regained some composure. This switching character is one way to do it, but also Onurgon just showing his impressive wolf nature right now. Uh, wanted to clean up his bracket and send him that to lose. All right, I'll throw it back to speak. Oh okay, great combo. Header racking like the 40, ground. almost 50 percent now. All right, yeah, he has a deep breathing online. Back here. Okay. I'm always looking for that back air from you, because I know it does damage. Yeah, that back air. Almost across the stage killing it, but no, I'm not. Okay. Alright, keep reading off Almost the read from the, the ledge trap, he needs to go for down tilt next turn. Oh, very ambitious of Onagon to go for the firewall. I'm pretty, not sure if that would kill, but... Okay, does he have tilt? Yeah. Doesn't get the forward oh, hitbox. Yeah, oh, doesn't, doesn't get the forward hitbox. Yeah, okay. Ooh, the kill looking very small. Scary point for Matt. Maka. Okay, fair to the spike. Oh, I'm, I'm, all right, all right. 
Alright, Jeff. Jeff, yeah, pop it in. Yeah, pop it. It's the last right, dog yeah. for Maka and Winners and see if we can pull something together. What's up, Jeff? What do you think you've been watching? I've been watching the entire time. I'm gonna have to be honest, the first time we come to him and drink That's a lot. Just fine. We can feel it out. No worries here. Um, good dash back. Oh my god, and he gets the read. Um, I go to see basically his adaptation for both players. You see Matt picking up stage control and showing how good we can be in Smash 4 and in this new game. Get up, get up attack sending him pretty far, a lot of range on it. Um, and his shield's very small right now. Okay, oh, but he goes for the net. Excellent set for both players. Just a lot of patience. A will to win. I haven't seen in a world in a long time. You know that 